My name is Kendall DaCosta, and I am making a flatbread. Not just any flatbread, though. It's a butternut squash boulangere flatbread, which basically means it's a side dish that they have in France. Butternut squash, caramelized onions, bacon lardons, a little bit of creme fraiche drizzle on the top, a little salad so you kind of feel healthy, but I think you'll enjoy it. So first up, we're just going to caramelize some onions. So all we're gonna do with that so far is just add a little bit of olive oil, add a little salt and pepper, and just let it go for 15 minutes maybe. I'm just gonna rough chop this. Kind of small so it, we can get this puree going kind of quickly. I add just a touch of water and we're gonna add a little bit of butter to it. Just to kind of stay traditional French, we're gonna do some lardons. Kind of thick, mm, maybe about a quarter inch or so. Just do a couple slabs. I'm gonna kind of cube it roughly. Don't put any oil in here. Obviously the bacon will do its business. Medium high to get it started and then I turn it down to about a medium afterwards. You kind of get Thanksgiving vibes from Sage. We're going to chiffonade this because it's going to be used in like a light salad for the top, just roughly. And now we're going to make our sauce. We'll take this fromage blanc. I'm sure all of you have heard of creme fraiche, very popular in France. Fromage blanc is very similar. Now we're just going to squeeze a little bit of this lemon juice in here. Because we want it to be slightly runny. So it's a kind of a contrast of textures, but the butter squash puree is going to be a little thicker. That's kind of what we're looking for. I'm very big on like colors and like building layers on things. So first off, let's strain this lard olives first, because as you can see, all that fat is rendered. You can see all that bacon fat. Don't be afraid of it. It's uh, the holiday season to save it for a good stuffing later on. For the caramelized onions, you get this Maillard reaction um, from caramelized sugars. So we're going to hit the bottom of it with this Modelo beer. Doesn't have to be the whole bottle. Save that for later after you cook. Right, so you have the garlic, the sage, salt and pepper, some clarified butter, cold clarified butter. It actually kind of emulsifies it all together. Bernard Scotch will be our base. Then we'll go on with caramelized onions, the lardons, and the mozzarella cheese. It doesn't need to be a thick layer, but try to get it all the way to the edge because you want all this goodness in every bite. So we will start to build. Don't be afraid to get dirty. This is the funnest part. A little bit of caramelized onions and a little bit of lardons. I put a little bit of paper towel under it just to kind of drain off the excess oil. You want to you hear that? That's what we're looking for, nice crunchy bits. I love contrast of textures when I eat, so we'll go on with a little bit of caramelized onions just all around. I shred this cheese a little more than what you would find at the grocery store. I find it actually melts faster. Gets some mozzarella cheese, gets a really nice golden crust. Slide this guy right into this 425 degree oven and let her fly. This is what we were looking for. Nice caramelized mozzarella cheese. You can find these mixed greens at any grocery store. I love them because they're so versatile. You have like all these like rich flavors kind of from the greens. So just go ahead and just make it as pretty as possible. Scallions, some scallions on top. If I was doing this in the morning for brunch, I would actually throw an egg right there in the middle and it's even more beautiful. This is a good dish for Thanksgiving even, for the morning or a lunch. A little bit of lemon zest for the top. Give that soft little stir again. We're just gonna drizzle. And I will finish it with just a little more scallions because I am Jamaican descent and I love scallions. And a little more lemon zest. And there you have it. A butternut squash boulangere flatbread with caramelized onions, bacon lardons, and a little bit of fromage blanc. Chef Kendall says while in quarantine, he perfected his sourdough starter, which he used to make flatbreads. He also says if you don't want to make your own flatbread, you can just buy one at the supermarket. Next, still craving butternut squash? Then you'll love this recipe.